What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today, I want to talk about this album right here, Killer Mike's latest album called Rap Music. Killer Mike Rap Music. Let me tell you guys, uh, honestly, I was never a big uh, Killer Mike fan. Not to say that he was whack or whatever, but I just, you know, he never was the type of MC that I followed like that. You know, um, I've heard of him obviously, he's been around for a minute, and um, he just wasn't the type of dude that I would, I would follow or listen to, go out of my way to listen to. Like, I listened to a few shit from him and, you know, it was okay. Uh, and, um, you know, like I said, I just never really followed him until I heard um, that this album was going to be entirely produced by my dude LP from Company Flow and the head of the now defunct uh, Definitive Jooks. And um, LP is one of my favorite MC slash producers ever in the underground. Uh, he is a pioneer of the underground sound. Check out Company Flow if you don't know who they are. You definitely need to uh, check them out. Just just go look them up. Look them up right here on YouTube. You can hear everything by Company Flow. But um, you know, I was reading interviews with Killer Mike, and he was saying, yeah, you know. Um, he hooked up with LP and um, he loved his beats and shit and he said that, um, you know, he wanted to go back to the old MC producer formula, you know, one MC, one producer or DJ slash producer, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And um, he said, yeah, because, you know, one of his influences, Ice Cube, uh, fucked with the Bomb Squad back in the day, which was... Um, uh, Public Enemy's uh, production team or whatever and that's when uh, Ice Cube came out with his classic material and shit and um, yeah let me tell you man uh, I'm so glad that I picked up this album this was another one of this year's highly anticipated albums and for good reason too I'm, I'm glad I picked this shit up um, Rap music, R-A-P is an acronym for Rebellious African People, and I find that funny because LP <laughs> is not African, <laughs> but again, I'm glad they hooked up and um, put this shit out. This shit goes fucking hard. Production on this album, like I said, um, is entirely handled by LP. And um, that's just ill, you know, like I said, he's a dope producer, not even going to repeat myself about that. Um, features on this album, you got Bun B, T.I., and Trouble on one track, that's the first track. You have uh, Scar, you have LP himself, and you have Emily Panic. So, those are the features on it. Let me move on to the pros of this album. Pros, um, this album definitely breaks a lot of the um, southern um, rap stereotypes, as in just rhyming about uh, um, partying and 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 scissor and and. Um, Cars and you know the, the bullshit southern rap that's been oh excuse me bullshit southern rap that's been uh, running the, the the mainstream into the ground. This album is not like that at all. So that's a definite pro. Um, 
he has some songs on here with concepts on them. Um, he he goes political on some tracks like Reagan. Uh, uh, what else? Ghetto gospel. He gets socio political, I should say. Uh, he talks about shit that's happening in the hood. Um, shit that's everyday shit. You know, Southern Fried talking about what's going on in the South, how the South is. Um, Big Beast, which is the first track, which is a, a posse cut, like I mentioned before, featuring Bum B, T.I., and Trouble. And, um, one thing that's a big pro for me is to hear uh, T.I. over an LP beat, you know. Um, a few years ago, I would have said that would have never, ever, 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 ever happened. But, um, you know, for, for um, LP and T.I. to be uh, collaborating together, it's just fucking... The thing I want to add is I think that this album is going to boost um, LP's... Uh, I don't want to say popularity, but um, yeah, I guess for lack of a better word, I'll say popularity because um, as a producer, I, he's always been ill to me and definitely as a lyricist, but um, a lot of heads now, if, if this shit pops off like I think it will because I know it's going to garner some critical acclaim, this should put LP definitely on the map and a lot of heads are going to want to work with this motherfucker now and um, a lot of motherfuckers are sleeping on LP. A lot of motherfuckers are sleeping on this dude, and um, when you see, when you listen to the beats on this album, for those that that aren't familiar with LP's production, he uses a lot of shit that some people describe as like space funk, that type of like it, it's it's a, sounds somewhat futuristic, um, has weird noises, but the drums hit hard, um, heavy bass drums. Uh, Sometimes he puts scratches in there, like on songs like Go, where um, Killer Mike's just going in on the mic faster than he usually rhymes, and LP's beats were just fucking killing it. And then on top of that, another thing about this album that I fucking love is the transitional element between some songs. Like, you'll think that you're listening to one entire song. Like, it happened, I forget, was it in between... Track three or four, I think, or track two and three. I forget which one I was listening to, but if I hadn't looked down at the CD counter, I wouldn't have known that the song changed. So it's like you're you're just listening to a movie, an audio movie. It's like it just continues to go, and um, that's just fucking ill to me. Check it out. Cons about the album, um, non really that personal to me um but i will be a little bit um subjective i guess uh, about this shit i know that motherfuckers are gonna be knocking lp's production even though i personally like it i know motherfuckers are gonna be knocking that shit i know for a fact because lp's been putting out Mad material for years and people is oh, I don't get that fucking space spacey shit and blah 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 blah. You know, a lot of people are gonna be critical of that. So I, I see it coming. And um that's one kind of I guess I, I, a lot of people will have about the album. Me personally, I love LP's production. I thought that's what put this album over the top for me. Um so yeah. That, that's something that people as a whole might have with it, but LP, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the illest to ever produce in hip hop. Um, my rating of this album, I'll give this a, a, a 9, high 9, 9.5. This one really blew my mind because I really wasn't expecting this. Like I said before, I never really was big on Killer Mike, but listening to this album is going to make me go back and get his earlier shit and maybe pay attention to his shit and um yeah that's it killer mike rap music shout out to my nigga lp oh by the way lp has his new album coming out next week called cancer for cure 
So look out for that review. I can't wait for that fucking album. That album is going to be fucking bananas. I know it's going to be fucking baka. So you niggas better cop that shit. You know I'm going to cop that. You know I'm going to fucking review it. But um, for now, check this shit out. Y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Support dope music. That's it. Peace, bitches. I did. These many shows and these many days. And these many bricks got these many pay. That's one, one, two, and these many ways.